So I have run into many instances where either the customer has SIP AOG enabled, there are some NAT issues, or you know, basically the firewall won't allow any SIP calling, right? So what what what, what can we do to solve this? So first of all, we have the managed switches from the customer that could do some uh, packet capture. But in uh, but with Polycom devices, you can skip all of that and just enable remote packet capture on your Polycom device so you can remotely capture packets with Wireshark. So what do you need to do? First of all, you need to have this little configuration. You need to have the uh, packet capturing and the remote packet capturing enabled. I'll put this little file in the uh, description so you guys will have it uh, yourself. Uh, all you do is you go to utilities. When you're logged into the Polycom web interface, you go to import and export configuration. And this is where you can import the file that you can get from me. So after that's done, I already did it because, uh, you know, it'll be a bit quicker uh, than uh, to wait for the reboot. Uh, as you go into Wireshark, you press the remote uh, or the, uh, the capture interfaces. You press the uh, remote interfaces and go to remote interfaces again and you can just press plus and the host is going to be the ip address of the phone so in my case that's a 192.168.178.26 with the port 2002 the username is always going to be polycom with capital p uh, and then the next thing you want to do is the password that's going to be the mac address of the phone in lower capitals without the semicolon to so show you what i mean is uh here's a little example of this phone so it's this specific mac address as you can see here without the uh, uh the the uppercase and without any of the uh, semicolons so once we plug that in as you can see we have it already available and from here we can basically start the wire shark so now we'll just uh, do all the cool things all right if you guys have any questions regarding this little feature uh, just let me know um, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone's pretty aware of how to use Wireshark if not uh, let me know and I can uh, can help you further thank you